Hey, Marcus, how you doing? Um, all right, man. So this is the first time actually you playing against the Knicks since the trade. And I was just wondering, uh, since we haven't had a chance to talk to you, you know, what, what, what was it like, you know, getting traded? I know you didn't want to leave at the time. And, um, you know, what do you think of the team now? Uh, I think, you know, first of all, uh, I had a great time here. I uh, love New York. I love the fans. I uh, love the organization. Um, I think you're trending in the right direction. A lot of young guys that's over there playing really well. RJ is trending up and, um, and Julius is doing a good job of leading them. So uh, it looks like they're going in the right uh, direction. There's nothing but love for them. Thanks. Thanks. We'll go over to Law Murray. Marcus, uh, this is the first time that Nick Batum missed a game this season. Uh, Patrick Patterson wound up starting and keeping you in your role with the second unit. And after a couple, well, now a few weeks, how do you feel like you've adjusted to that role and how were you able to get Pat ready to uh, start this game against your old team? We got this thing that we say about Pat and we say, <laughs> just add water. Um, so, cause he's, you know, he's ready to go. He's a veteran. Uh, he's been in this league for a long time and uh you know when his number called he's ready to go and you know that's 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 big for us and you know me man i'm just a hooper man whether you want to start me or bring me off you know i can do whatever uh and i think that's just go to say to my game or to my versatility uh to the kind of teammate i am um but uh like i said man i'm you know i'm a swiss army now if i can do whatever you need thanks we'll go ahead over to miriam Hey Marcus, uh, congrats on the win. Um, obviously, you guys are getting used to playing games without fans. You've been doing it for months now. But, it, but are there ever moments like, you know, when you're in a venue like that, like the Garden, where you kind of wish there were fans or like you feel it? Definitely, man. There's nothing like playing in the Mecca. Um, it just was so different when we went out there today and like nobody was out there. But it's like that in, you know, every arena, especially like that in Staples. But uh, it's starting to be the norm. You know, and some cities are allowing things, but, you know, I think we, we, we are adjusting to it and we just, you know, we're just getting ourselves ready to compete. Uh, this was an early game. So, you know, we had to come out with our own energy and uh, second half, I thought we did a great job of, of hitting first and, and, and taking the game back in our hands. Thanks, go to Tomer. Hey, Marcus, congrats on the win. Um, you know, today, uh, Kawhi goes one of three from three. Uh, PG goes one of eight, lose one of five. You guys still finished with 17 makes on 45% shooting. Uh, does that kind of three-point shooting surprise you, or is that kind of expected at this point with the looks you guys are getting? You know, I think it is, it's a credit to those guys, too, man, because, they, you know, they pull the defense in so much. You got to double-team them. And, uh, you know, I think guys are just – you know, trying to gel and figure out their spots and where they're going to be open at and, you know, where they can continue to, you know, to get open shots. And uh, the best thing about this team is down from one through five, we all can shoot the three. And, you know, I think that that definitely opens up the floor. Baca doing a great job. Pat Pat came in and I think he made three or four, um, you know, so it's a veteran group and, you know, we, we're just continuing to go forward. And when we're open, we're just making shots. Thanks. We'll go over to Shane Young. Hey, Marcus, congrats on the win. Uh, you and Kawhi have been, you know, tied together. I think you're in the same draft and one pick apart, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what have you seen since being his teammate? Is this the best you've seen Kawhi throughout your, your career together? And uh, is there anything specific that he's added to his game over the last couple of years? Kawhi is just like the ultimate pro. He come in and get his work done. He don't say much. Uh, keep his head down, game in and game out. Um, you know what you're going to get from him. Um, Personally, I think I, I think I do see the, the motivation. He's definitely talking more. He's definitely, you know, more vocal this year. Um, and I think, you know, last year he just felt like he could have changed some things, and that was one of them. And, you know, it was really good for our team. Him and PG are both playing at MVP levels. And, you know, it was good to watch. It's good to see. It's good to see, you know, how those guys train because it's good for our younger guys, to, you know, to see what it takes in the day in and day out, to, you know, to get better. And uh, they're doing, they're doing, you know, really well. They lead and, and they're, and they're backing their game up too. So, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, how far and how, how good this team can be, and you know how how good we can grow together. Thanks. We got time for a couple more. We'll go to Joe Barden first. Hey, Marcus. Um, with the way that last year ended for you guys, and then now you, everyone can see how well it's going here in the early on. 
Is there anything about the way la that last year ended that you guys still talk about? Does it fuel anything you do or say in practice or the weight room or any anything like that? No, nah, not really. You know, we, we kind of just left it in the past. Uh, it's a, it's a, a totally different dynamic, a uh, totally different coaching staff, uh, totally different players, uh, you know, fired some of the guys that didn't return. And, you know, it's a different, it's a whole different, different atmosphere. I think guys are, you know, buying in a lot better. Uh, the coaches are, uh, you know, giving us opportunity to be able to keep ourselves accountable and, and, and play the game how we want to play it and, and go the way we see it. And, you know, it's, it's fun, man. I, I, I told my, my twin brother this the other day, man, playing for T. Lou is like, <laughs> It's like one of the things that, you know, I would have never expected in, this, in the NBA because we have a really good relationship. And, you know, that's my guy, man. And it's easy to be able to talk to him. I call him anytime. And, you know, it don't even have to be about basketball. And I think that players enjoy that, man. Just having a conversation with a guy that can relate to you and was a player and, you know, and understands exactly how you feel. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just blessed to be in this position and uh, I'm blessed that the Clippers, you know, brought me back. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. We'll take one final one from Kahari. What's going on, Marcus? Uh, just, can you just elaborate more on that? Just being around a bunch of guys that you can just have a conversation with that's, that's deep in the basketball. You know, just how just how beneficial is that for you? And also, just also, can you just elaborate on just coming when you first come into the Clippers? You know, just having to sacrifice shots for a bigger goal, and then you know, but it's still a, a winning situation for you. you know, me as a player, man, I've been to a lot of teams, and I've been, you know, playing for a lot of coaches. And I can say that this, this by far was my, you know, my, my favorite coaching staff by having all the guys that actually played and, and guys that can relate, man. Chauncey Villa, Dante Jones, uh, T. Lou, you got, you know, on the way down, man, these guys are, you know, they're into it. You know, they're emotional like us, you know, they're holding everybody accountable. And, you know, it's been a good ride so far. And I think that, you know, we have something special going over there. And, you know, the, I'll answer your second question. Hey, man, I had my opportunity to, to be able to show what I could do in New York. I think everybody took notice of that. And, you know, I just, I used that platform to get on a bigger stage. And now, I'm, you know, I'm here to compete for a championship. And uh, I've said it plenty of times, I want to be, you know, part of that team that wins that first championship for the Clippers. And I think, you know, we're trending in that direction. And that's the main goal. Uh, you know, I'm just excited, super blessed, man. And, you know, I'm gonna continue to work hard and whatever they need me to do, that's what I'm gonna do.